a great job of being the cutting edge of technology. But what we're doing here at Caterpillar, putting big diesel engines into machines like this, is also a huge challenge. A Formula One engine idles at a higher speed than the top speed of one of these engines, but we can easily produce double the amount of torque. Fuel economy is a huge issue. Moving hundreds of cubic metres of dirt a day is going to burn a lot of diesel and if you can reduce that by even a fraction well the savings annually are huge. So here in our engine test facility we're doing all the things you'd expect a racing team to be doing. Any development we dream up in the design office we have to validate here on real engines before it can go into production. So here we have our test cell. And inside, you can see we have an engine ready to be tested. You can see that we have all the required safety features and also all the temperature and pressure measurements. You can see up at the top, we have our air inlet and our exhaust going in and out of the test cell. Around the side, you can see all the coolant that we have required for the engine. And around the back, you can see our two-stage series turbochargers. So take these turbochargers and say we want to make a design change. First of all, we model the design, but we have to validate that model. So here in the test lab, we run a baseline engine configuration, taking all the measurements that we require. So you then go back to the model and look at different designs and create a computational prediction on how the airflow is going to be improved through the engine, thus improving the combustion efficiency and overall efficiency of the engine. So you only have to go back to the engine for a final calibration, validation and endurance test. All of this reduces the amount of engine testing that we have to do. This sort of test facility is just as crucial to heavyweight construction equipment as it is to featherweight racing cars.